Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Can't complain. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> That's the way. What's everything doing? It's Friday. It's great. Okay. The, uh, the week, <clears throat> for me, the week uh, passed very fast this week. Yeah, the week went by really fast. And we're already on February, February, almost in the half of February. Last year was really fast as well. Yes, I don't know why, but uh, you are in January and then you are in December. Right away. Let's wait for the others just for a minute. Okie dokie. Let's see. Oh my God, we're just seven already. Uh, let me text the others. It's Friday and the body knows it. Are you working tomorrow? Not you, right, Andres? You're not working tomorrow. No, me not. Okay. How about you, Edwin? Are you working tomorrow? Yes, teacher. I have to go to work tomorrow. Uh, for oh, to 12. Until 12? Yeah, oh, to 12. Mm. Yeah. You say what this. about you, teacher? Yeah, I have to work until 12.30 to 12.30. Okay. Uh, yeah, I start at 5 a.m. Uh, how, how do you feel right now? You feel tired? Um, not too much. I, I rested a little bit in the afternoon, and then I did something else on the car, you know. Oh, that's good. You know what? I went to Guatemala today. I'm what? very tired. Yeah. What time That's did you far. leave? I leave at five. You left at five. Yeah, I, I left. I left at five, and, and we get to the the, the. How do you say frontera? We got to the border. Border border at uh, around seven, so we have a little delay there because uh, there was a lot of people trying to go to over there through customs. So we doing customs. Yeah. Yeah, so we 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 be in Guatemala around like ten or something like that, and my boss do some business there. Then we got have lunch, and then we return back. It was, it was hard for me because I have to drive all the way back and all the way. No, you were driving, um, right? Bit, yeah, yeah, I'm a driver, mm -hmm. so I'm very tired. I can I just I came to my house around seven. I just I barely had dinner. Uh, but it's part of the job. No. And tomorrow I, I need to go. I'm going to Sonsonate to pick up some things to Agape because my boss has an association. So we're going to receive a, a donation from Agape, Sonsonate. 
Yeah. So that it that it is. <laughs> That's crazy. We're just waiting a little bit, give me just a minute. watching TikTok. No, no, no. I'm just preparing something for you, but I lost it, but I found it later. Okay. Tonight, we have to continue talking about scammers, identity theft, but let's try to do it um, some fun way. You know, videos are good. Actually, you're going to be watching some videos about it, but you have to create a conversation, you know, become more talkative, guys. I'm not here to be speaking for two hours. You do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's your job right now. So, and my job is to evaluate you, you know, to see how you're doing with your English. It's the most important thing. So let's start by doing the attendance um, so we can move on with the class topics, shall we? Just a minute. This, this, this unit has been really long, right? I have felt this topic really extensive, but it is what it is. Today is fr Friday the 11th, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. There you are. Okay. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you, Fer. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Blanca and Jocelyn. Please turn on your camera. Glenda Laura okay. Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. No. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Um, Good. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Stefania Carolina Reyes Sánchez. <laughs> William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Of course, it's Friday. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Darwin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Excellent. Okay, so tonight, what's in it today? Okay. Have you ever been mm, cheated by anyone in your life? 
Have you ever been cheated by anyone in your life? And I'm not just talking about relationships. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Okay, don't get me wrong. This is not about relationships. Uh, I mean, yeah, but... On the future, yeah. For example, uh, in your life, you know, like a family member or a friend, have you ever been cheated? So narrate your case to a classmate. Uh, what do I mean by being cheated? You know what is cheating? Yeah. Okay, let me give you an example. Um, when I was in high school, we used to, I used to sing in a band. I kind of played the guitar, but I was studying. So I used to mimic, I used to mimic um, Enrique Bumburi <laughs> on the band. And, um, and this other guy, what's his name? Rest in peace. Oh my God. Uh, uh, Solesterio, Solesterio, come on. Just can't remember his name. Oh my God. Gustavo Cerati. Cerati. Gustavo Cerati. Cerati. Yes, Cerati. I cried when he died. I cried. Man, that was so sad. But the thing is that we used to play as a band every Monday in the Instituto Nacional de Santa Ana. I was back in 1996, 97. Yeah. Man, long time ago. And we used to have fun, but one day um, they said I was gonna sing, you know, and this this other guy showed up and he started singing instead of me. And they said I was going to be the second voice on the band. You know? I was like, oh my God. And I was prepared. I mean, I had prepared everything, you know, and I was very, in enthusiastic as usual but out of the sudden they just decided to bring someone else to the band and that happened that little band um let's say two two integrants you know two people uh, out of that band uh became what you may know nowadays as is it freeway yeah freeway they became freeway later on but nowadays, there's just one of them, uh, Ivan, playing the, the drums. He's the only one remaining on the band. But man, that was a long time ago. That was amazing. It was really good. But it is what it is, you know. <laughs> so it feels awful, you know. And, and, and that's what happens. So that's a story in simple past. So can you try it? Can you answer this question? Tell a brief story? about what happened to your classmates. Okay, why this question? Because we need to get the feeling of being cheated, you know, like being scammed in some way, but get the feeling, you know, how would you feel if somebody is stolen your identity? I'm concerned about that because two years ago, I lost my wallet with all my documents during the quarantine. During the quarantine, I lost my documents, my wallet, and I never found them, you know? And I didn't realize, like, up to one month after I had lost it. So, I don't know what happened to it. But it's amazing because there was my doing. I mean, somebody could have found me on, on social media, right, and say, hey, here are your documents, right? That's really weird. Anyways, so let's start the class warming up with this short question. It's not that long, but everybody should answer, okay? Give one answer by yourself. We're going to be in trios. Let's go in trios. Come on, guys. Cheer up, cheer up.
uh, sometimes you you feel cheated. Okay. Okay. In my, in my case, uh, uh, two times somebody forged my signature. Okay. My signature was uh, as a, a falsification two times in some documents and I never knew who who did it. Oh my God, so sorry. What about you, Edwin? Uh, uh, I don't remember someone has cheating on me, but um, I, when I was in high school, I I remember that the someone uh, trying to steal my note from Matt. So um, he doesn't try. He stole my 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 homework. And actually, he 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 presents the homework like if he does that, but actually I do that homework and he present them like like he like if he do the, the did, homework did did that did like like he did the homework. I was so mad with him and I feel and I felt shitting because like she she started for me and she and she presented us like if he did the homework in that company for seven months. So the, the, the boss uh, had problems to, to pay the rep, the payroll in that in that time. So they he he, he only gave us maybe our twenty percent of salary to the all the employees. So they 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 only said uh, we can we can pay all the all the payroll for for all of all of you, but we try to to gave gave us gave you maybe maybe gave you. Uh, okay, okay. Aclaremos una cosa. Siempre estás haciendo eso. Corrijámoslo ya. We tried. Ya lo pasé este pasado. Y muy bien. Seguís con tú. Entonces sigue un verbo en base. Okay. okay. Enfócate en eso nada más ahorita. We try okay. to pay. We try to pay you. Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, at the end, uh, in December, the, the province uh, uh, start, started at uh, September in, in this year. And in um, December, uh, he, how do you say, the Medevia? Owed me. Owed me. Owed me. Owed he me. owed me um, almost one one thousand and twenty and two hundred dollars. And the, 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 he said uh, on December I that's would pay enough. all the all the pending salary, but that's never never happened. So at uh, this time I I never received a that that amount of money and uh, uh, some co-workers uh, I don't know if they are still working with with him but we can did we you can. try to demand it demand demand well, uh, he... how can I how can I say when I I put a demand I think that it's not the, the right word for laws. It think. depends. If you're if you're claiming money, it's a dispute. Okay, if you don't know who did it. But if you're suing somebody, you can tell Fernando, I'm gonna sue you. Yes, uh, well, ah. I, I keep the the uh, a computer that I I used to to work in that in that time, but the 
I keep I keep I kept that that computer for six months after finishing my job in, in that in that place. Um, what is your your experience about the cheated? To me cheated. Let me see. Well, lately, uh, I remember I, I wanted to get some money, extra money, and I decided to, to join a web page. In this web page, they pretend or to, to, to get rewards, right? In, when you fill out some service or you make some task like play video games and you are going to receive, um, for example, $10, $20, but yeah, and you are going to able to, to get your money when you reach, uh, for example, $200, this is the, the minimum, but you know what? I reached that, that that amount of money, but they never give me the money because they after reached that that goal actually, they told me that I need to uh, share or get thirty people more to join in in the same page. And after that, we, I am going to receive the money. Uh, yeah, this is a shit actually. <laughs> this, this is a trick because yeah, I have but never. Going money. To... Yeah, but I believe they this kind of web page only take advantage of your of, of you because they only try to to get or put in front of you or some obstacles. Yeah, I, I decide well, to <laughs> to lose to lose that money. It's in a bad experience. Yeah. Yeah. And you I wait for my time. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have a, an experience uh, so similar like Alexander because a friend told me about um, a company named Libertagia. Um, you, and in that company, you had to register and make some tasks every day, 10 tasks. Uh, the task uh was you have to click on uh, the links so, of some pages and only uh, stay there for 30 seconds and in theory uh, you will uh, get money uh, to do that and to um uh, take uh, other friends uh, to your to your I, I don't know how to say red is the same red. word in English red net net word yeah in, red. in, in your in your yeah. in your network but uh, it, it was some problems because some months uh, before uh, we realized that was a uh, fake company <laughs> and the the good point was uh we we don't don't lost uh, our money because didn't, it didn't. was free it was free but i only waste uh my time i just so i much. just wasted my time mm -hmm. i just waste my waste my time wasted for two months <laughs> okay Okay, next, next. We're almost done. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's it. 
You are done. <laughs> Bad experiences. <laughs> yeah, but. Okay. I need somebody. I need somebody. <clears throat> I need somebody to retell a story he or, she, he or she heard from a classmate using reported speech and somebody there to retell just one story briefly that you heard from one of your classmates. I have problems with my internet. Okay, Blanca. Okay, for example, Fernando said, Fernando talked about uh, an experience he had he said that he was lied or he was um, cheated by some classmates when they had to do a homework. Um, it looks like he did the homework in the end and, and he said that the classmate pretended um, that she or he had made the, the homework by herself and, and I remember that happened to me in the university and man that that's the best job the best homework I ever did in Relaciones Internacionales that that's that was the name of the of the of the assignment the name of the of the subject um I did everything it was like 120 pages um about OEA I remember and I even burned a disc. I even have the disc, you know, at with a head. I did that homework and I felt so proud, but I was in a group with two ladies. And one of them wanted to be with me, you know, like, you know, what, right? And how she wanted to make <laughs> up with me. Thank you. She wanted to um, hang out, hang out with me. And she was sexy and everything, you know, and she told the the teacher that she had made the homework i was like what and you know what happened in the end the teacher gave me a 10 and gave 7.5 to the other two girls somehow i didn't say anything you know and but somehow the teacher found out and she was like i know what you did and it's okay it's like what <laughs> so that <laughs> was funny she never talked to me anymore after that. And guess what happened? Like two years later, I discovered that she was pregnant. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. You saved it. <laughs> I was saved. Oh my God. Because I said, no, that's amazing. Okay. Somebody else tried to report what a classmate said using your own words. Star. Thank you, Fredis. Go ahead. Actually, my in, in my group we talk about two different kind of cheating. Uh, I think Doris, yeah, Doris. Um, she actually she told us that she used to watch a program that was called Cheaters. So we're, we're talking that there's two different kind of cheating: of cheating of their wife or their or their husband, or cheating like like um what was the other girl's name I, irene irene uh-huh yeah irene um she was telling us that she used to cheat uh, um 
um I don't know if it was high school or well when she was when she used to be studying that she used to cheat on the on the exams. Oh yeah, that, that's another form of cheating. What did she say? That actually that most of the time that she forgot to study or she didn't like to study. And at the time that she takes this, she was taking the exam, uh, she asked for a copy or she always find out a way to cheat on the exam. <laughs> okay, raise your hand if you have never cheated on a test. Raise your hand. Other, <laughs> other than the English, <laughs> no, other, other than the English program. But in your life, have you ever not cheated, you know, not copying tests. I never copied test. I rather had a seven or a six for real. I never cheated on any exam in my life. I, I rather had a six, you know, or not go through that uh, um, assignment, you know, that. Oh, my God, I'm forgetting that. Subject. Word. That subject. And I just said it. <laughs> yeah, I rather, you know, have the subject on second try like in the university if you leave that subject you have to repeat it and and have less subjects for the next semester i don't know it feels awful if they catch you if they catch you cheating oh because i i used to see my classmates you know and i was like oh my god that is you never cheated yes in the exams never uh -huh. Yeah, never. I I I have a problem. I I I I feel I so so very honesty and very uh, in some type person think uh, I have a, a maybe think a, I am a hard person. But 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 is 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 for is because because of uh, just uh, mm, I consider it is muy is very sensitively is muy sensitively sensitive. You're very oh. sincere, sincere. Sincere, yes. Okay, transparent. Sincere. <laughs> sincere. Sincere. You're very sincere. Okay. Well, like I was in um, high school, we stole uh, an exam. Mm -hmm. The teacher, yeah, uh, but he realized and he changed the exam. Oh, so it doesn't work for us. It didn't work. It didn't it? Didn't work for us. Oh my God! Hey, there's a movie, right? Uh, I don't know. There's a. Yeah, I think it's a I... Chinese movie or something like yeah. that. What is it about, Alexander? I have never seen that movie, but I heard about it. You saw the trailer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy created a, a way to cheat on every single exam, you know, and he sells the idea and he sells you the answers for any exam. That was crazy. Okay. Do you think it would be good if we could all simply cheat if we wanted on that test? The most difficult decision requires strong wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you have to be sure of what you're doing. I mean, think about it twice, guys. And in the end, is your knowledge what you're risking. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's move on with the class uh, through the lesson plan. Give me one minute. Okay, next up, we have your page. 24 on page 24 on your student's book. We have to identify new vocabulary, match the terms related to identity theft uh, to the corresponding minutes. meanings. We have fraud, identity theft, two-factor authentication, credit report, PIN, and fraud alert, fraud, alert, fraud alert. I don't like to say fraud alert, fraud alert, fraud alert. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. You know, that, that's the most difficult um, kind of situation that we have in my work. It's called fraud. Uh, hold on, hold on. 
Yeah, it's, it's a fraud case. Uh, when somebody got the card registered under its name and it's not their card. It's like I stolen Fernando's identity and I go online and I register his card under my name and I use the money. It's difficult because when they call us, they pretend to be the card holders. So one of these days, well, many times I have talked to frosters and we will, you will see that in a minute. I will send you a video so you can have fun a little bit, you know, and see how it happens in real life. How it is when somebody contact you pretending to be someone else. And, but in my case, you know, in the call center, when I receive a call, I'm very careful. I have to make sure I'm speaking with the owner of the cart. How do we do it? we have different filters that I cannot mention, but I can tell you it's so weird. So weird. It feels weird speaking with a froster because they, they, they don't give up. They just didn't, don't give up the idea of them being the owners of the money. So it's difficult. It's difficult. Have you been able to identify the froster without the filter? You know what had happened? Part of the process that we follow is to send a form to the real owner of the card. And a mistake is committed there very often, or well, it has happened before. We send the information of the froster to the real owner. So the real owner is in North Carolina and the froster is in Florida. And we send the documents with the name of the froster. So when they get the documentation on the email, they go like, who's Pablo Escobar, right? In Florida? This is not my card. Well, this is my card number. But who's Pablo Escobar? I'm not Pablo Escobar. Oh, this is the guy? Oh, my God. You see? Oh, my God. So you have the name. I'm calling the police. And they call the police. There's an address. There's a phone number. There's a name. Police go to that place. It doesn't exist. Do you know what? I remember there is a doc documental, yeah, documentary, documentary about it. Mm -hmm. That this kind of people mm -hmm. who did these these the things, and they work like a call center, right? They have. <laughs> We're about to see that. We're about to see that. Yeah, there are call centers in India where frosters just call a list of people, you know, and they give instructions. That that's what you will see in a minute. But first we have to follow the guidelines. Let's go to page 24, exercise number six, building vocabulary. Let me show you really quick. This is the page where we shall be. Okay. And together we're going to identify or match the words with their meaning. We only have 10 minutes for this activity. Try to do it with your classmates, okay? And after we watch some videos, you're going to prepare um, a role play on how to prevent uh, identity theft, okay? Um, how to prevent identity theft. That's very important, guys. This is really going to help you someday, okay? Because eventually you will be in danger and somebody will call you and try to steal your information, you know, and that's really bad. Okay, it's not funny when I have the camera on. Okay, so let's go in groups. Ha! Huh. That's better, right? Okay, let me see if I do five groups, we're gonna have four people per group. Let me see, yeah, that's good. Oh, well, hold on, yeah. Let's make it smaller. Okay, let's go. Everyone's so like you now. When it was right, I moved out. Back from where I came. Life is a funny game. Mm 
Hello guys, how are you? How are you? Everything is fine. What about you? How do you feel today? Today was fine. Was fine. Okay. What about you, Fernando? I'm doing well. Okay. Let me. Sorry, but I have some situation here. Okay, we have to match the words with the meanings, right? Yes. yes. Okay. From the one, proud, proud is the correct pronunciation. Fraud, fraud. I don't know. Teacher, can um, you tell us? Sorry, come again. Fraud. fraud? What is fraud? That, that is different, the pronunciation of that word. Oh, yes, fraud. 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 Yeah, just fraud. like fraud. Yeah, fraud. Fraud, okay. Fraud. Okay. Thank you. Fraud. Mm. For me, it's a criminal the section intended to result in the financial or personal gain. Intended the fraudulent acquisition and use a person that is identity theft. Identity theft. Yeah. Yes, for me, this is an identity theft too. Yes. Let me let me try to share this. Mm -hmm. the screen. Is the page 20? 24. 24, okay. Yes, I found. Let me, okay. Uh, I'm sharing my screen. Do you see that? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. I. I, I think the number, the number one. Number three. Second one. A report filled by a financial institution to sing, signal that someone might have stolen your identity. Okay. This is Ro number... Oh, alert. No. Six. Credit report. Credit report is a report filed by a financial institution. Correct. Credit report. Mm, yeah. No. Mm, no. I think... You know what? This is is more like it is a statement. There is a information mm -hmm. about credit. Last one. Yeah. Pro uh, alert. I, I guess. Credit report is here. What do you think? Is six here? Where? Six. Pro alert. Oh. On which one? Six for alert. Mm -hmm. Which one? Um, this, 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 or this? <laughs> this. This one. Yes. Yes. Six. 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 Yes, yeah, the number floor floor alert, but what? Which uh, concept? 
Six. Do you think? This one. A report. A report. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Filled by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity or identity. Identity or identity. 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 Two things. Two things that nobody has. Money and time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Teacher. I was I was wondering, teacher. You wanna say um it's not your girlfriend, but you never married that person, but you were together for a long time. How can you call it? It's not your wife, it's not your girlfriend. You never married that yeah. person. How, how can you call it? I used to call her my significant other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your definition. That's my definition, yeah. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. What? Yeah, we got the answers. Oh. Good on you. Okay. What else were we supposed to do? That's it. Okay. You sure you're done? What is a, a credit report? Credit report number four. It's a, it is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. Where is that? Oh, okay. That's the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Credit activity and current credit situation. Yeah, yeah, it's a credit report. You got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is a report filled by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity? That's number six. Fraud, That's fraud, fraud, fraud alert. Fraud alert. Fraud alert. Okay. I, I believe you. Let me just two minutes. I will just go with one more group and we go back. Okay. Play. Um, maybe that's maybe. Uh, for later because the uh, teacher said only number six. Teacher, I was on the group number two. Sorry, I don't watch my fate, my what my WhatsApp while I'm teaching but i'll do i'll do sometimes i do okay are you ready yes, yes we're ready yes yeah. okay this? okay let's go life has always passed me by believing in nothing you see the disbelief have you ever heard john fruciante no. no. Oh. Yes, you have. You have. Why? I lie on the streets because she's my companion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm all alone. Yeah, Red Hot yes, Chili Peppers. But, no, no. Yeah. I don't feel the feeling. He, he, he <laughs> was the, um, he was the guitar player, the guitarist of Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, then became, he became a solist. Okay, so what is fraud? I'm not even going to, well, let me share the, the book. I really want to make sure you understood these terms, although some may be complex. Where's the book? God, where's the book? There is. What is the, what is the different, different when someone says, says, says uh -huh. for example, what the book is, or what is the book? 
That's a question. Yeah. Okay. What is the book? Is a question. What's the book? Anyone? Someone said where the book is. It's no. a statement. Uh, where the book is. That How is the place. That's the place where the book is. That's the place where the book is. It will be. Um, how did we call this? This just to be uh, depending clauses. Remember. Okay. Yeah, they, they cannot be by themselves. They, there has to be a, a a dominant clause, or else it doesn't make sense. And that's the library where the book is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Fraud. Criminal. Criminal. Deception. Criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Yes. 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 Okay. I'll trust you. So I that would be number one. <laughs> I'll buy it. Excellent. This would be number one. Okay. What? No, it's down. What? Wrong yeah. answer. Another one. Yeah. Yeah. Criminal deception. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Identity theft. Is identity identifying identifying number allocator. Oh, um, uh, no, 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 it's the fraudulent the acquisition. Fraudulent. The, fraudulent acquisition. <laughs> the fraudulent, continue, Josie. The fraudulent the acquisition. The fraudulent acquisition and uses a person's private identifying information for financial gain. Hmm. Okay, that's it. What would be two-factor authentic authentication? Authentication, no, authentication. Two-factor authentication. It is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password and username, but also a piece of information of, on the user, such as a physical token. Hmm. Okay. It is an extra layer. 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 Yeah. So uh, what I is said, what I is said it? Lawyer, right? <laughs> no, you said liar. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Lawyer, liar. I don't know. Layer, layer. Okay, can you give an example of this? Well, yeah. in Gmail, you can. A Gmail the back. Day. Blanca, Blanca. The back have uh, the bank. Uh, a verification. Yeah, it's Banco de America Central. <laughs> oh, yes, the token. Yeah, they have uh, a singular. And unique token for every transaction that you going to perform. Mm -hmm. Perform. Yeah, if you yeah, have the, the if you have the bank, you have two apps to access your account online. Well, right now they only in in the on the same app you can use the number the verify number. The verification number. Yeah, the verification number yeah you have to update the app okay no i know i closed my account with them anyways they were charging me like three dollars every month and sometimes up to five dollars every month because uh in our end we get paid once a month basically or so or so on once every half month and a half for example as soon as we finish this course for example I finish grading you, you know, sending the report and I get paid in two days later. The thing is that I spend sometimes one or two months without seeing any payment, you know, and when I get money on the account, I used to get money on the account. They used to take like five, seven dollars. Once they took ten dollars and that's what really pissed me off. I was really upset. I was like, no, I'm canceling this account. I have no problems with the bank. I don't know why they... Is that fact? I mean, you get money every month, but check your statement. Check your statement. There's always okay. some sense. Yeah, you know, I, I know that, but they... Uh, charge? How can I charge the... the Fees? It's something, it's something like membership or something like that. Or when you use the car, the, when you use the ATM uh, more than five 
times. No, but that's too much. The... No, I know, I know. I'm very, well, anyhow, yeah, they charge fees for everything. Yeah, anyways, anyway, okay, let's not continue with that. Uh, number four, I'm sorry, uh, credit report. It is a statement that, uh, that has information about credit activity or current credit situations. Current, 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 current. Yeah. Okay, so that's number four. Come on, where are the rest of the students in this class? Number five, PIN. An identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or other organization. I don't know. Organization. Okay. Organization and used for validating electronic transaction. You got it. What does PIN stands for? Do you know what PIN stands for? Personal identification number. Yes, personal identification number. Personal identification number. Thelma, what is your PIN number? <laughs> Don't give it to me. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> From the credit card. Never. Girl, Don't say it. Don't like, say oh, it. No, no, it's no, no. It's That's private. 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 Yes. Private. That's yeah. private. Okay. So, number five fraud alert. Fraud alert. Alerta de fraud. Fraud alert. Uh huh. Francisco. What is fraud alert? Is a report filed by a report filed by a finance institu institution or institution? Institution. Institution to to signal to that that some someone have someone have may have. have may have stole your identity stolen your identity okay oh a report a report filed be careful with this word field mm, filed by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity identity come on okay Um, con uno de ustedes estudia hace poco y ahorita vamos a pasar el listado y perdón que les hable en español pero creo que quiero que entiendan una cosa a quien no se lo he explicado a quien no le he explicado eso ojo ya sabes español muchos de ustedes saben más español que yo eh, porque probablemente estudiaron algo relacionado a lenguas no sé el punto es de que tu cerebro es muy potente créete esto eh tu cerebro es muy potente, mucho más de lo que tú te imaginas. Se va a deteriorar con el tiempo, ojo, ¿eh? Entonces, ahorita estamos bichos todavía, todos, hay que ponernos las pilas y entrenarlo. ¿Cómo lo haces? Eh, ¿Sabes que los, los optometristas te recomiendan que mires a un espacio lejano y después a uno cercano para entrenar el iris? Eso es ejercitar la vista. Pues lo mismo ocurre con el cerebro. ¿Cómo vas a ejercitar el cerebro? Hacer ejercicio. Come sano, and that's it. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué te estoy hablando en español? Quiero que entendas una cosa. Tu cerebro ya conoce todas estas letras que estás viendo en tu pantalla. Y se va a dar duro con vos. Tu inconsciente se está dando duro con tu subconsciente. Y, te, y el subconsciente te está intentando forzar para que leas las palabras como ya se las aprendió en español. Y por eso vas a decir, it is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password. Uh -huh. <ríe> so, right. Te lo juro, tu cerebro se está dando duro con eso. ¿Cómo mato eso, teacher? Presta atención. Busca audios. Eh, el, el, el link que le envié, eh, les envié al chat el día que estaba con Amos tiene más de 250 audios. Ahí está la escritura de todo. Entonces, escucha y lee. No repitas. Dos días. Escuchas y lees dos días. Tercer día, empezás a repetir. Y tu meta será 
poder leer exactamente como lo escuchaste en el audio. ¿Cómo lo vas a saber si ya lo hiciste bien? No me necesitas a mí, oí bien. No me necesitas a mí, ni a un gringo. Lo que vas a necesitar es tener un buen oído, limpiarte en los oídos con, con un isopo, no es broma. Entonces, ya, ya practicaste una semana con un, una de esas lecturas, no discriminé cuál a este punto. Entonces, agarras un teléfono, te grabas leyendo, y tratando de entonar esa lectura, y después le das play a las dos cosas, al audio que está en la página y al que tú grabaste. Uno, dos, tres, pum. Teacher. Ya, entonces, ahorita, eso se llama autocorrección. Autocorregirte te va, te va a dar un, te va a hacer que des un paso gigantesco en tu aprendizaje. Ok. También se puede con las películas. Hmm. Las películas en inglés y que pongan que salgan las letras. Va escuchando lo que va diciendo la película y va leyendo. <risa> Fíjate que pasa otra cosa increíble. Tu cerebro es muy potente. Tenemos la vista periférica, ¿verdad? Por mucho que vos te quieras enfocar en las letras que están en los subtítulos, te aseguro que tu cerebro está clavado viendo qué es lo que ocurre en la... En la en la película, y ante todo ante todo si es una película emocionante o si está muy interesante lo que está ocurriendo ok so, no, lo, no le des distractores sino que, en, que se enfoque porque eso es lo más difícil y desde pequeños no nos enseñan esto, mi hijo tiene uh, hiperac es, es hiperactivo y tiene desorden de atención Uy, cuando ya. estaba, estaba sí, de 11 años me ponía a ver lo que era Clifford o Cayu <risa> Me Ajá. ponía a leer las letras que salían abajo para tratar de decir lo que decía. Pero cuesta. Entonces, lo que te quiero decir es, a mí me ha tocado investigar todo eso por el niño y por mi trabajo. Cuando era gerente, ¿qué hice? Me puse a ver eso. A estudiar psicología, comportamiento humano. Muchas conferencias de TED Talks sobre eso, sobre cómo actúa tu cerebro, bajo qué circunstancias. Y con Xavier, con, con mi hijo menor, estoy tratando de eso. ¿Sabes qué le digo? Cuando lo miro que está estresado, porque le dejan hasta siete planas, le dejan hasta siete planos o algo. Cuando lo miraba que estaba muy enojado, porque su reacción es molestarse. Se le digo, hey, una cosa a la vez. Así, y lo miro, una cosa a la vez. Shh, una cosa a la vez. Después de decirle unas cinco, diez veces a veces eso. Se queda, Ay, <risa> Wey, y le sale súper bien todo. Entonces, lo mismo te digo a ti, una cosa a la vez. No te estreses, no te frustres a este punto, ya estás por terminar vas más allá de la mitad so, ahorita es como una carrera, ya vas a llegar mi tele papá mi tele, o sea el primer lugar sí, acordate no existe la perfección es una ilusión que debes de perseguir y vale la pena perseguirla tomando en cuenta que no la vas a alcanzar nunca, pero vas a haber dado tu mayor esfuerzo, ok good, so let's do the attendance before we move on to the next part of this class. Irwin. Okay. <laughs> Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. She was here. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales, Irwin Lagos Andrade, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales, Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez, Freddy Vladimir Cortés López, Glenda Laura Celada Randeros, Ok, Blanca. Eimos Alfredo García Granadino. Not here yet. He was driving. Okay. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Welcome. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Omaño Orellana. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. 
Present teacher. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Okay, thank you. She was here. Oh, there she is. Okay. One more okay, thing. Percy. One more thing. Discipline. I do what I have to do when I have to do it, whether I like it or not. La disciplina. Yo hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer, aunque me guste o no. Okay. Eso es disciplina. Hacer lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer, aunque no lo quiera hacer. That's it. Okay. Force yourself for something good. Okay. So I have something for you. I was preparing some things. There's a set of videos that you must watch. Would you like to start from the, mo the, from the most boring one? Yes. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Let's start from the most boring one and then we watch. Yes, the boring examples. one. Okay. Yeah, because in the end, you know, this one, the first one, it's 10 minutes, guys. It's almost 11 minutes. But go move forward if you want. If you understand the concept, just move forward. Okay, let's make it shorter if you want. And then we go with the second one. Take notes. Who sent a screenshot? Danke. Okay. Okay. That's the first video, it's 10 minutes. Would you like to stay here or should we go in groups? Stay here. Okay, let's stay here.
share the videos forbidden. The video is forbidden. It's repeating all the steps. No. Yeah. It starts again when finished. It starts again. Yeah, because um, well, I'm on the minute eight, and it's repeating the step two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that it's finished about the minute six or something like that. Yeah. And then it's a start to, to repeat all over again. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's up to minute seven. That's it, 6.55. It's like, it's like it's, go over. Okay, so what are the steps? Actually, is um, fill some forms for bureaus, bureaus, yeah, bureaus, bureau, out, bureau, and business for each one actually, and does take a lot of time because after doing this, you are going to receive many calls. You have to take notes about each goals notes uh -huh. notes and basically they you have to I don't know, look or get your report about your financials financials yeah about your finances and your financial statement yeah okay does anybody here in El Salvador do that? What's the institution in charge of uh, checking your records? Let's say your financial records. Mm, like a fax, the com? Um, these are no. like, no, no, no. The main institution of El Salvador that takes care of um, credit mm -hmm. records. Teacher, I, I have problems with my internet internet okay. that's why i turn off the camera i got it uh -huh. no they keep your rights safe of spending money but who's in charge of keeping your credit records you know actually they know your close yes andres ssf superintendencia del sistema financiero uh, that's the name. Uh, did you know that you can go there and with your need, well, with your doing now, you can go to La Superintendencia del Sistema Financiero and request a, qualifi a qualification. You know, they can tell you, oh, you are an A1 or A plus, something like that, or double A. They give you your qualification as, as a customer, you know, just like Equifax will do with them. They check your uh, record. The banks has access to to that information right who banks 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 banks, banks and mm -hmm. some commerce mm -hmm. commercial institutions they do but not everybody yeah okay what's the second step i mean all the steps talk about the same thing right how to what to do how to do if you're a victim of identity theft, what, what do you have to do? Can somebody tell me what's the first thing you have to do? Report it, Alexander said, and then what? Where do you go? That's something that I wanna know because we're talking about identity theft, your identity, your DUI, your need to all your documentation and they're doing stuff with your information. They're pretending to be you. What do you do? Sounds weird because <clears throat> they can get a job, they can buy properties, actually. Yeah, it's so, so crazy. <laughs> no, I've never heard of that happening here in El Salvador. Yeah, there yes, is, for rich people. There mm. is another kind of identity death that I saw in my job. Mm -hmm. it's, some people get the, the their certificate and get the do it for 
to for another person to another person. Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw before maybe. Yeah, because like you're you're working five. in the town hall, right? Yeah, yes. Like case works. like that. Mm -hmm. You saw a case like that. Five, like five cases. Five cases. There's there's one case between two sisters. Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds like lost in space. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. the the series on Netflix? On yeah. Netflix, Lost in Space. Yeah, the doctor. Okay. Yeah, I mean in the states that happens. I mean, have you seen the movie? This fat girl, this fat woman who is always uh, still in the the identity of other people. Gervin is not in their head. His head. Yeah, I saw that movie. That's kind of funny. I don't like her. I don't know why I don't like her. <laughs> it's just weird. Okay, let's go with the second video. The second video is just an example of what the first video explains. Okay, pay attention. Try to get some details of the video so you can narrate to me what happened i want to hear more people speaking i haven't heard Luis the whole night uh yuri suleim i think she slept uh <laughs> you're sleeping how oh, dare you okay sandra is so quiet irene is doing something i guess francisco come on i want to hear you guys when we come back okay this is the second video okay don't share it just watch it and come up with your conclusions okay this is shorter
money laundry. <laughs> money <laughs> laundry. <laughs> Sounds like Asian people, like, right? Asian, uh, Indian, Indian, Indian. Hindu, Indian. Hindu, 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 yes. Hindu people. What, so, what do you think? What, well, first of all, tell me what happened on the video. They tried to use the information of the officer. Well, verify the information to stall. Mm, the they, social number they, they wanted. To. The social security number. You know what it is, right? What yes, is it, right? There, yeah. There is the, the, the Dewey. The Dewey. Oh. It's kind Not of like a need. It's like a need, you know, but man, with your social security number in the States, anybody can do whatever they want. Okay, that's for sure. Okay, so did the caller have the the officer's uh, information or not? No. No, right? He's not. Yeah, he wasn't trying to verify. He didn't have it. He was trying to obtain it. What happened? She knew about that. She knew about it. <laughs> I think it was kind of easy for her because she's an officer. So actually she knows all her record. Mm, what do you think, guys? She was playing with him. <laughs> she was playing, but... If you get a call like that, actually, uh, when like the first thing that you will do, like, is it real or not? Or you actually will be wondering. So, I think since that she's she's an officer, she she has like I think more information about her her, her accounts and if it, there's any anything goes wrong with. Her, with her social security her address too her address they have, they have to know even her address and they they didn't have let's see that. who got let's see who got this she gave her an address she gave the caller an address right yeah but i think it was the, the yeah. police station address Wait. yes you got it it was the police station address <laughs> yeah i mean if the froster will fight. have if the froster was smart he will have gone to Google Maps and find out that it was a police station, right? Oh my yeah, God. I think yeah. that's the reason why they hang, hang out the, the phone. Oh, tell me what happened in the end. I didn't see the, the last part. I wanted you to tell me what happened in the end, Luis, Yuri. The, the supervisor <laughs> tried to come back. And we lost you. Oh my god! I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry. We yeah, we were. I hate that. Okay, let, let me hear from Luis or Jury. I don't know, guys. The come on. Supervisor. Yeah, we're losing Blanca. Uh huh. Microphone. Microphone. Jarvin. Sure. They, he always try to get the information for from her. Mm -hmm. And for example, he used a tricky way because he said that if, if he he she don't share the information, he going to have a lot of problem with her account. If she I didn't think. share uh -huh, her information, yes. she was going to have a yes, lot of problems. Uh -huh. But that. what ha what happened in the end? <laughs> they was trying to to implant a scare in on her. How do you say him? She, she asked or get for in, the supervisor. Get in. Get, get her in scared. Here. She was he was trying to getting get her scared or threaten. She was threatening. Oh threatening, threatening her. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. her. You seen some words like drugs and yeah, they they told her that she has some, how do you say, 
Um, fraudulent, fraudulent purchases? No. Actually, actually, he made a big mistake because mm -hmm. at the beginning he said, he's, he told her that she had, I think, 25 charges. And at the end, he only mentioned two. Mm. So that's why she asked. She asked him. Why the other guy said they had 25 and you say it's only two? So that's why he hanged up. My God. I, I love the part. My favorite part was when the guy said, they have used your car, your credits, you know, to place orders for up to $10 million. <laughs> and she was like, $10 million. Oh my God. Right? She's nice. Okay. So do you think there's any repercussion for these people doing this sort of frauds? scamming people over the phone do you think there's any repercussion or is there anybody trying to save us from these people if the police uh, caption i think yes but it's very difficult hmm. to to find the the the, the responsible yeah the responsible Okay, what do you think, Sandra? What do you think, Luis? What do you think, Judy? What do you think, Thelma? Suleima, what do you think? Do we have a hero out there? Francisco. Yes. Uh, well, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I do not how, how do they eat for for how the phone number, because when, for example, you have a call for the banks, they know you not your your name. Because sometimes I I receive I receive mm -hmm. I receive some call calls mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. asking for, for for me. Um, they say, hey. Uh, I have a pleasure to uh, talk with Francisco Amadeo Villacorta. They have your information, but I never give. I never gave them the information. I never gave it. <laughs> okay. Do you know the answer to that question, guy? How how how? No. How does no, these no. how do these people get your personal information, your name, yes. your phone number? How do they do that? Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. I, I don't know nobody? because of course yeah i'm, I'm asking mm -hmm. everybody your question frank Let's see if anybody knows any idea Maybe Maybe you from should. a cell phone company from a cell phone company okay when you get a card or you sign a contract with some institutions i don't know if they still practice this but you have to read the small letters some banks do give your personal information. They sell data. They sell the data. Okay, it's like the, the yellow pages. I worked in, in marketing over the phone for Oceano, selling an English course back in 2013. And I remember we used to go to the, to the yellow pages, the white pages, whatever, and look for people randomly, you know, and start calling them to offer the package. And when they asked, how did you get my phone number? We, we used to tell them, oh, you know what, uh, fulano, I mean, someone gave it to us and that's it. I mean, it was difficult. So these people, these fraudsters get the data from, um, from leaks, let's say, of the bank, you know, that's the way they get it most of the time. Now, wow. yeah. Now, the most common scam, and that's what we're about to see. Last video, just move forward. This is like four minutes only as well. It's five minutes and 29 seconds. Pay attention so you can realize how this happened. And as someone was saying, yes, there are call centers already implementing this in India, in China, Hong Kong, Japan. There's a lot of call centers doing this, but we have some heroes and they are hackers too. So check the video and please give me your comments. Wake up.
<laughs> I love. Oh, I love Get it. The endings. <laughs> I love it. That guy is a genius. He's so brilliant. I love it. Yes. Fernando is learning. It's reading the script and everything, right? For... He's in shock. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure he's taking screenshots right now. <laughs> he's thinking about it. someone else. He's seeing him. <laughs> and that's, that's another level right there. Let me know when, imagine, once you're ready. Mm -hmm. Imagine having that technology in your hands. You have it, but you don't have the knowledge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have the power, <laughs> right? For you could do that with simple computer, right? For yeah, you can do that. Yeah, it's just a matter of uh, knowing about the programs that you have to use and program programming. And uh, let's see. Yeah, am I right, for? For this, for this reason, it's necessary to cover your camera when you are working and you are using a computer from your office. In my case, I have that part because sometimes I listen some noises the, in that computer and I feel your some... <laughs> some... <laughs> That's weird. My camera That's turned weird. on at 2 a.m. one of these days. <laughs> so ever since then, I, I just unplug it. After the class, I just go ahead and unplug the cable. Even if the computer is off, I just unplug it. I don't care. Pay for like... antivirus. <laughs> I listen to a story about some fraud, fraud that a uh, guy that had a key from their bitcoins. They 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 stole the bitcoin that they have on a, a, An account. A cool water, cool wallet, a cool wallet. And the unique way that they gave the, the key was through the camera from the camera. When he put the key on on driver, they get it using the computer, the webcam, the webcam of the computer. That way, when you are going to use something like that, it's necessary to cover the, com the camera the from your computer. OK. Yeah. I mean, but well, I, the camera is facing me. I don't know. I don't know how they do that. Man. It's it's just another level, definitely. Okay. Comments. What was your favorite part? When you saw the school, the school on the when the hacker sent the picture. <laughs> It's cool and the crossbones, man. Yeah, that was wow. I don't know how they how, how he did that, but he took control over their computer totally. I mean, they they didn't know what to do. I don't know if there's a way. I, I guess if you unplug yeah, the there computer, is. there is there is because um, my coworker he messed up the the printer machine and where we work at, and he called a. Uh, Tech support? Yeah, but actually it was the, the guy that he called, he lives right here in Acajutla. So he, he called him and he like, uh, the printer broke broke down, so can you help me? So he said, yeah, he just go, go in the driver and type this password. No, I think he, he told him to type a password or to give him a access or, or just to, to press Maybe mm -hmm. they be. For him to enter to the computer. So actually, he, he was That's... able to do everything from his computer mm -hmm. to, to the one that we have a, a work. That's, that's so, called Team Viewer. That's called Team Viewer. I think in, on the video, they were using Team Viewer too to connect or remotely. Any desk. Yes, it is. So, so my, my, co -work, my, my co worker didn't do anything. Up so the other guy was able to fix the printer machine from his mm -hmm. computer. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah, that's when you have problems with drivers. I used to do that with Dell 
they have their own application called Dell Connect. So you connect remotely to the clients, uh, the customers' computers. To and do you can to other, other tool that is frequently used for that, that, that process to mm -hmm. control remotely your computer. Yeah, there are, nowadays there are many, many uh, softwares and many of them are free, you know. Okay, so I hope you like the videos. Now it's time to practice a little bit about them. We only have 10 minutes. I'm just gonna split you so you can start a role play with your classmates. What's your mission? Just create a very short role play, very short. Why short? Because your classmates will retell your conversation on reported speech, not you. So you have to give advice to someone else. If you notice on that same page, on page 24, your task is number seven. It says in groups, prepare a role play between a bank representative giving tips to a customer on how to prevent identity theft. So tips, what tips can you mention to someone? If you don't want, you know, don't will, you want use the camera, try to turn off with an application or maybe you only they could, uh, uh, no, or could uh, a part of, uh, how do you say, tiro mm. algo y lo tap taparlo. Scotch, just put a scotch yes. on it. Okay, good. Very good practice used to, is frequently used um, VPN. Yes. Use a VPN, okay. Don't give your information access to uh, anywhere. Your passwords, your PIN number, your account no, number. No, for example, I use that application for helping to my relative, like my brother or my mom, when they need uh, some help with the computer. But that is because they trust. They trust on me. They so, trust me. They trust me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't have to do with uh, anyone that that practice. You don't have you to have practice. You have to be careful that, with that. Excellent. That, that, this kind of idea. So now how you say that in real life to someone else. Okay. And on Monday, we're going to retell the role play. That's the first activity for Monday. And your classmates will retell your conversation using reported speech. We are 18, oh, but I couldn't split you on couples. Well, actually I do. Remember who's your classmate, okay? We're gonna be in trios. Remember your classmates, please. So on Monday, we can work together on this. Create a role play, short role play, giving advice, to someone, how to protect identity theft, to prevent. Sandra, Jocelyn, and Roberto, let's go, let's go. One of the ways that you could protect yourself from identity theft is not giving your information to anyone, especially when you get a phone call. We've seen it on the video. Yes, uh, for example, you, you don't, don't open the, the spam, the, the links of the of the mails on the fraudulent mails, you have to to be sure that the uh, authentic uh, uh, sender in, in the mail. I was wondering, in the U.S., they sell um, some fake social security and some green cards. I don't know if they're like identity theft or they're just normal fake papers. They sell it to the immigrants. Uh, they cost sixty dollar each. You could get a social security and a and a fake um, green card. It's like when uh, in in our country when some Maybe. people some people buy our our paper of of degree 
uh, like a, a fake degree. And you can use those fake papers to uh, to rent a car. No. All, all that uh, that came out on the video, you could make a credit with, with those social security number. It's very different in, in the USA. I think you're trying to say get a loan. You can get a bank loan. Yeah, because it's once I bought a fake um, social security and a green card because I needed I needed to find a job, so they were asking me for one. Yes, but in Salvador, you're being recorded. Five. Remember? Yes. But in Salvador, oh, yeah. you can yeah. find. <laughs> yes. In Salvador, <laughs> in Salvador, you can find all the kind. We can make it like. We we are sharing a, an experience. Uh -huh. Something like, hi, Francisco. I have a problem with my debit card. I received a notification that a notification that I made. I don't know about for a shop uh, in Spain, and that's worried to me in that, that, I don't know how to say that, but mm -hmm. I, I worry about that. And you, you can give me an advice or something like that and, and make the, the report speech like that. Something like, oh, my friend, Luis. Uh, but <laughs> right now, right now you're not gonna use reported speech. You're just going to have a conversation. Like oh, for okay. example, Oh, uh, Blanca, you know what? I'm planning to buy some shoes online. Uh -huh. So you're, you're in the bank, Blanca. So I came to the bank mm -hmm. to know how to, how to do this transaction, okay? I'm on the website right now. Uh, what can I do? Because I don't want to use my credit card on this website, but I have to buy these shoes. I love these shoes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And then we you go can. like, okay, be careful. If you're going to use the credit card, yes, frosters are everywhere. If you, if you are afraid about that, you can make your account on PayPal to be sure that that is more, it's, it's going to be more secure for you. Excellent. You got the idea. That's what you have to say. Okay. 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 I got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to. Other other can be install uh, antivirus. And for example, I have a uh, Norton. The Norton permit me to control phishing. Um, okay, black. I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. I remember it's just a conversation. Um. <clears throat> Um, I have my doubts about this website. I better call my insurance company. Um, hey, Alexander, this is Rafael. Um, hi, Rafael. Okay, um, Alexander, you know, I'm placing this order for um, some seat covers for my car. Uh, I'm buying them through eBay and they're 250 euros. Um, it says on this website, but when I get the total, it comes up to 290. I mean, it's like, it's, that's not too much. I mean, El Salvador, you know, and shipping should be at least $100 for these things. And it's not that much. I don't know if I should proceed. What do you think? And then Alexander will go, you know what? Send me the link. Um, I'll check the website for you and let you know so you can proceed with your purchase or not. Give me just a minute, okay? Send it to me. Okay, you know what? That's a fraudulent website. It's not the real website of eBay, so don't place this order. Um, they can steal your identity or your card information with this. Okay, so don't do it. That's it. I just made your. I just made your <laughs> your homework. Okay, and on Monday, somebody's gonna listen to your conversation, and they're going to report to the class what you said. That's it. Okay. Okay. Just get the idea so we can do it on Monday. 
ok there is another name ok there is a movie with this name but I forget it ok we already we already have the our conversation picture reward reward oh re did not know we didn't finish yes i know it was simple don't worry we will finish it on monday so you can do it in front of the class and somebody else can retell it okay i'll send you an example after the class to the whatsapp group okay okay, okay i'm staying with yuri 10 minutes yuri enjoy Good your teacher. weekend enjoy your weekend guys yeah, uh, because if you drink, don't drive. Oh, forget it. Okay, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres nice. Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Erika Beatriz López Morales, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Good night, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Good night. Romero Argueta. <laughs> um. Thank you, Luis. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. <laughs> Stefania Carolina Reyes Sánchez, William Alexander Ramírez Flores, Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz, <laughs> Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Omaño Arellana, Suleima Ivo Moreno Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. Good night. night. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. Okay, sir, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing great. A lot of work at home, suffering some pain on my hands and I don't know what's going on, but I'm okay. How are your babies? Excellent. Hey, good, excellent. They are, uh, they are studying with a teacher from United States right now. Um, I am paying for the class. Um, they are learning a lot because the last time the teacher told me my little girl, my 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 toddler, well, she isn't a toddler. She's six years old. Oh. She's six years old and she told she told me that my little girl is speaking a lot now. And that is good. That's good. Awesome. Okay. That's great. Online teaching, of course, right? Yes, it's, it's good because she, it, it, I found that that teacher in, in someone recommend me that teacher and she, she, she teach uh, just uh, adult, per, adult, adult students, adult. just adult students. But it, when I grow with her, she, she asked me, if you want to try, I can do it. But I frequently teach just the adult, chill adult, adult student. I have, um, I decide to, to Give it a try. Me, uh, I tried with my daughters. And when she began to speak with my daughter, she told me, oh my God, she speak better than many students that I have. <laughs> And that was good for okay. me. How long have they been learning? Uh, maybe the 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 last year, she uh, to September. I remember maybe it's from 
January to September, they was a study. They were. Study. They were a they were a study with that teacher. And this year we take it again. Took because it, took, it. Mm -hmm. took the we took it because we my daughter was really my daughters study a lot. I decided to stop it because I felt that they need to rest. They needed and rest. Uh -huh. They needed rest. Mm -hmm. And that's why I decided to begin this year again. Okay. How long uh, are the classes? An hour. One hour every day. Uh, uh, no, uh, maybe two, two, two week or a week. Twice a week. The, twice a week, depend on time of the teacher. Oh. Because she, she. It's very busy. Went, yes, because when it was a pandemic time, she has a lot of time because maybe she lost her job. And she has a lot of time that, but now on uh, at December, I remember it. She on December, wrote, on December, uh -huh. uh, 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 no, on September, on, on September, she wrote us that she, she's going to, she began to work again. And that's why the, uh, the schedule time that she had to mm -hmm. work, to work with, uh, with the student is, is, Less shorter. than it's it's shorter. It's shorter now, but it, for me it's good because sometimes depend the time that my daughter has because have because sometimes uh, for example um, I remember one one of those days my mother come here to came? stay with came with us mm -hmm. and she saw my daughter she spent a lot of time study and it's really hard and. She told me, why are you doing that? She needs to play or something like that. Because, for example, recently she finished to homework. And um, it's, it's a lot of time for a, a little girl for two uh, So year, are they years, starting so. from home or are they going to live classes now? Uh, she's studying homework because the school decide to teach the 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 the, the school told us ask us about if we decide to send to send our children or daughters at the school or virtual class and we decide a virtual class because decided. Mm -hmm. decided that way because the last year well, well two years my daughter is studying that way. I saw that my my daughter learned learn a lot in that way. And she worked by she worked herself. By, him, by, by herself. She does she doesn't need any help for me. Really? Some, sometimes I help. For example, today she created um, an activity on English. She created uh, an activity. She created, on she created an activity on English, but it was complicated because the teacher asked something like, um, uh, "What was the life of the children before the internet?" And I thought, "I was children life before the internet." Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And I thought, uh, "Well, um, wait, even, is this with my... your six-year-old?" No, it is for my ten years old. For my ten-year-old, ten-year-old, mm -hmm. ten and she needed to create a paragraph for like a a little story on how <clears> life <throat> used story. to be. So mm -hmm. you told her. Yes, I told her what is was the life in that time. It was interesting because um, I I I thought if I don't help her, she doesn't she doesn't know was was the way that we worked before the internet because when mm -hmm. i was working on the internet i began to use a computer i remember that we had just a local intern local net providers providers uh -huh. local local network we yeah, don't telecom have... right mm -hmm. and the, i i remember when i i don't know if you remember but I, at the first time we had a a little modem that they the are the, the uh, little megas or 
kill yeah the you used to connect it to the landline to the landline there were no cell phones it's just the landline and then the little modem on the on the landline you know the phone man it used to low like <laughs> that's right <laughs> out of noise yeah now you see it's impossible thing that that happened at the, at the past because yeah. now you can download a lot of files really really fast really really fast i wish we could have saved one of these receipts you know from from the telephone line from long time ago we may be laughing now because it was in colones right so I don't know. Do you remember how much you used to pay back in 1990s? You know, no. the telephone line. No, when I, don't I, I didn't have. I didn't have a phone line I, when I moved to San Salvador. My uncle had a phone line. And he had internet, and I was like, "Wow, right?" I'm used <laughs> the internet. <laughs> yes, I remember yes. we used to download music with my with my cousin, you know, and burn discs. <laughs> no, yes, it's, it's interesting because uh, um, she, my the, the the generations the right now generation doesn't know what was this uh, the first step of the of the internet the world wide web. Uh, for example, the future is going to be uh, the web three. Uh, like, uh, for example, my daughters have have uh, Cardano's coins. Like, uh, it's uh, Ada Cardano's. Um, and they virtual money. It's a crypto cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. um, they they know a lot of uh, a lot of about the crypto crypto market. And at the future, she is going to feel really comfortable in that. Comfortable in that. Yeah, I got you. That. You know what? You're right. We should start encouraging them, right? Yeah. And go on the metaverse and all that. Yes, I would like <laughs> I don't, to. I that don't is, even understand how that works. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Many, many uh, phones. Uh, many farms are 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 putting money in that um, metaverse coins like uh, Mana, like like uh, Sandbox. This is going to be the future uh, internet future, like uh, 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 the reality is 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 a uh, is first step that we are doing in that way. But uh, the future direction, is going yeah. to be is going to be huge, yeah. and that way is is someone wants to get get good profit in that market is necessary to be in the first moment. No, yes. when the is come knowing the base, the, world. the basics, mm -hmm. knowing the basics. I got you. Well, nice talking to you, man. <laughs> that was okay, amazing. Wish we could have more time. Hope you enjoyed the night and take care with your family on the weekend. Okay, take care too. Bye. I see Bye -bye. you. See you. Bye.